Hi, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to automate LinkedIn connections in Sales Navigator using Axiom.ai no code browser automation tool. I'm Alex Barlow, co founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. A quick bit of context on how this automation works. So the Axiom opens up a saved leads list in Sales Navigator, it opens a new Chrome window. The automation will then scrape every lead from that list or as many leads as you tell it to, and it will scrape their name and their link to their profile. Then once it's done that, the automation loops through those profile links it's just scraped, opening each one in a new window, where it then clicks on the three-dotted kebab menu, clicking on the connect button. It then types in a message just like you would, except automated, before finally it clicks send an invitation. First up, if you haven't got one already, to use this automation, you're going to need a LinkedIn leads list saved and ready to use. Next, of course, you will need to install the template. You can do that from within Axiom, new automation, start from template. You'll find this one under social media. You'll also be able to go to our website where we've got loads of other templates and this one listed where you can install them with a single click. And if you haven't got an Axiom account yet, remember every new user gets 60 minutes of free runtime to try this and other automations out. Okay, let's configure the automation and show you the magic, show you Axiom automating LinkedIn. So I've gone to a smaller leads page with just a single lead that I'm gonna connect with for the purpose of this demo. I'm sure you can appreciate why. Now I'm going to open up the template and we've only actually got two steps to configure for this automation so it's not going to take long at all. Step number one, get a list of links to pages from the URL. In the URL we just simply need to insert the um, link to our leads list. Now I can cut and paste into that field or I can just click get URL which is a little bit easier because I'm already on the leads page. Next within this step Select, that would, you could use this to select the content you wish to scrape, but we've already done that for you. And we've already set the pager up as well. Finally, in this step, max results. Now we set this to one, because I'm just gonna do one um, connection and message in this demo. But if you want to do 10 from the list or 30 from the list, this is where you make that setting. So max results, controls the amount of messages or connections you will make with this automation. Now, let me collapse that step and quickly I'll talk you through what the other steps do, but we've only got one more step to configure. But let me quickly run you through the loop step. That basically will loop through data from step one. So we're gonna loop through the links in this case. Go to page, loads the page, split name, We'll split the name that we scrape so we can either take the first name or second name when we're customizing it. We then have a couple of clicks. So we click on the kebab menu with 2.3, 2.4 then clicks on the connect button. We just wait for the form to pop up in step with step 2.5. Step 2.6, enter text for the connect message. Okay, let's set this up. What I'm quickly going to do is so just check the selectors on this step just because I want the preview generated, so I'm just gonna press complete, because I want to show you the split text. And we can see John. And now we can personalize, we can set up, finish setting up step 2.6 and add the personalized message. I'm just gonna keep it very simple. I'm gonna type hello, and I'm gonna click insert data to grab the name from the split name data step. I'm going to clear all, select column A. I don't have to select the text field, I just need to set the message. And that's pretty much this automation set up and ready to run. So let's give it a test run. Okay, so we're now ready to run this automation. Now we can run it in the cloud or the desktop. I generally prefer to run it on the desktop when testing my automations, but please note that we can now run these types of automations in the cloud because you can store your cookie in the cloud as well. So that means you'll be logged in to the cloud when you run this automation. Let me just close that window. Um, so testing this automation, what I'd recommend you do is step 2.6 is disable the 
actual, no, not, sorry, send invitation, disable the actual send invitation step, which is step 2.7, which you do by basically clicking the vertical kebab menu and pressing disable step or enabling if you want to send. Now, I do want to send, so I'm going to enable and we're going to watch magic. We're going to watch Axiom Automating Sales Navigator. I never get tired of this part. So I'm running on the desktop. I'm just going to drag the view window into view. So we should, oops, I dragged the wrong window. Should see, scrape the list. That's the orange highlight there. So we scrape the profile and the name. It's opened up the profile. We should see it click on the, the menu just to the to the right of message. You should click on connect. Now it should type in the message, including the personalization. There's John, and it should click send. And that's the connection sent. You can now see it's pending. That's the magic of Axiom. Awesome. So you've seen the magic of Axiom automating connections and messaging in um, Sales Navigator. Do remember that you can customize this in any other template simply by adding in the steps and building out the functionality that you desire. Also worth noting, on the template page, you will find hints and tips in case you get stuck. And do remember, we've got excellent customer support. Get in touch via our support page on our website, axiom.ai. Send us the template and um, give a description of what's going wrong and we'll get back to you with a solution. Thank you for trying Axie.